Story RH, the podcast that makes a long story short. Welcome to all. History is made of stories. In this episode, we're going to deconstruct our certainties. We're going to unlearn to learn. What? You want me to turn my back on the knowledge I painstakingly acquired over the years? No, I know. If I spend my time unlearning, I'll end up even stupider than before. No, my strategy is to capitalize, stock, and pile up knowledge. Don't worry, unlearning isn't the same as destroying. Forward motion is still the goal. But sometimes, to move forward, you have to make room. You have to take a few steps back to gain momentum for the big leap forward. That's unlearning. Do you have to unlearn to learn? What's the story? Learning is first and foremost an individual responsibility. No one can learn for us. Each of us must accept this responsibility to build a cohesive society. But we also have to keep in mind that learning isn't always easy and can require varying degrees of effort. But if on top of all that, we add that you have to unlearn to learn, then won't we just find ourselves in a kind of permanent instability? It's hard to accept that the foundation upon which you've built your world can crack and crumble. Certainty is reassuring. Exactly. It's a fragile balance. We need some certainty to keep from getting lost in permanent doubt. But too much certainty prevents progress. Certainties are the things we think we know, but they're always partial and sometimes incorrect. The danger is that when we think we know something, when we really just believe it, the only certainty is that nothing is certain, affirmed Pliny the Elder. Therein lies the paradox. To manage and understand the world around us. We opt for the simplest explanation, but we must never forget that this simple version pales in comparison to the complexity of reality. It's just a paradigm as Edgar Morin explains, and real learning is about trying to comprehend the complexity. All while accepting that we will never really be able to appreciate its full scope. That's why we have to move beyond our certainties and allow our systems of representation to change. The sum of our acquired knowledge forms a lens through which we study, analyze and understand the world. This system of representation is a filter that deforms reality to varying degrees. So we have to regularly clean the filter to obtain the clearest possible vision of reality. When we learn, we nourish our minds with new information. Sometimes the new information confirms what we already know, without raising any questions, because there are no irreconcilable contradictions. But sometimes, the contradictions are too meaningful. And what we believe conflicts with the new information we are taking in. At this point, there are two possible reactions. The first is to reject the new information and trust your beliefs. In other words, I refuse to accept this new knowledge because it doesn't agree with me, in which case I'm not truly open to learning. The second is to accept the new information and use critical thinking to ask the right questions. It's about reorganizing your way of thinking, recombining things in a different way, to create a coherent whole, in this case. I'm learning and moving forward. Have you ever tried to truly clean your home without throwing anything away? You end up moving things without really reorganizing them. Our brains are much like our cupboards. Certain stereotypes, certainties or bits of knowledge acquired years ago have to be thrown out if you want to move forward. In other words, tidying up your mind is a critical process of unlearning. It requires effort of course. It would be silly to deny it. But refusing to question your certainties leads you down the road to obscurantism which is far worse, as Nietzsche put it. It is not doubt but certainty that drives you mad. To recap, if you don't unlearn, you can't learn because our systems of representation are always incomplete and flawed. When you learn something new, the only option is to question your system of representation if you hope to keep moving forward. Is that right? Exactly right. Way to make a long story short. Story RH, the podcast that makes a long story short.